And hello everybody, uh, we are going to go ahead and finish up our part two of the post that I did last week where I configured crypto maps for a site-to-site -site VPN. In this video, we're going to create a site-to-site -site VPN using virtual tunnel interfaces or the VTI method. So if you're not familiar with where we're at, go back and watch the previous post and take a look at that and there will be a link in the page here to get back to that post but uh, essentially what we've got going on let's do a show IP interface brief I've cleared out all the crypto on this particular router I've still got the loopback interface which is what we're gonna route traffic between and then I have the uh, shared network on F00 172.17.02 and I should now be able to ping if I put the do command in here ping to router 3 which is on that same subnet and there we go so there's router 3 over here and show IP interface brief here and we can see the same thing going on and I've already got EIGRP enabled for this 192.168.3 network we're going to create a tunnel interface on the 10 network so we can take a look at that And this is what the routing configuration looks like. So the 10 network is where our tunnel interface is going to go. And we're going to encrypt the traffic going across that. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is create our crypto isocamp uh, settings. So I'll just do crypto isocamp policy 10. And we're going to do authentication via pre-shared keys. Hash will do MD5. Encryption, we're going to do triple des. And we'll do Diffie-Hellman Group 2. And I think that pretty much covers it. doesn't really matter what the settings are. It's more of just a example to show you the configuration. So I'm going to take this off of Router 2. And I'm going to drop it into Router 3 to make sure that they match up for us. And so now the next thing that I'll do is I'll set my pre-shared key. And let's go crypto isocamp key. And this is going to be 172.17.02. And I'm going to copy this. And we're going to paste it over on router 2 and change this to 3. And now our keys match. All right, with that done, the next thing for us to do would be to create the tunnel interface. So actually, I take that back. The next step we'll do is we'll create our transform set. We'll do a crypto. IPsec transform set and I'm going to do VTI and we'll do ESP AES 192 ESP SHA HMAC and copy that drop that in on router 3 here on router 3 we'll do a crypto IPsec uh, let's back out of here so I can tab through it Crypto IPsec Profile VTI, and then we'll go ahead and set the transform set to VTI. And we'll copy this, put it over here on router 2, set the transform set to VTI, and now we can go ahead and set up our tunnel interfaces. So, interface tunnel 0 here, interface tunnel 0 here. And we'll do IP address 10.1.1.3. And over on router 2, 10.1.1.2. Now we're going to set the tunnel source to be F00. Make sure that we got the right interface there. 
So F00, there's our tunnel source. And our tunnel destination is going to be the other end of this uh, tunnel, 172. This is on router 3, so 172.17.0.2. And over here, tunnel destination 172.17.0.3. So I've just made a mirror image, and that should be pretty good. And we can actually see our neighbor went up. And we'll do tunnel mode IPsec IPv4 tunnel mode IPsec IPv4. And then we get that native encapsulation now. And then tunnel protection IPsec profile. And that is VTI. All right, so that should take care of it. Enables the crypto map. You can see that the tunnel just came up. And we can see that the neighbors adjacent do show crypto ISA SA. Shows me that I've got a QM idle security association. Throw on detail there. And we can actually see that we're using triple DES, MD5, pre-shared keys, and Diffie Helma Group 2. We'll also do a show crypto IPsec SA. We can actually see packets being encrypted and decrypted across that tunnel. Those are our hellos from EIGRP. Do show IP EIGRP neighbors. And we can see that on the tunnel interface, we've got a neighbor. And do show IP route. We can see that we are learning via EIGRP, the 192.168.2 network. And we can do a ping to 192.168.2.2, I believe it is. And that's successful. And what we should be able to see as that happens, let's filter this a little bit, will include encrypt here. So we'll do a ping. Went up to 34 packets, another ping, 40 packets. So we can actually see our traffic's being encrypted. So that's how easy it is to do a VTI interface for site-to-site -site IPsec VPNs. So take a look at that last video, which is the crypto map site-to-site -site configuration. Take a look at this video, which is the VTI site-to-site -site, uh, configuration for IPsec, and make your decision. Like I said, VTIs are sort of the recommended new and improved method of doing things, but hey, some people still have and use and enjoy crypto maps, so I'll leave it up to you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.